Hey, how's it going? Come on in. All right, so we're gonna do a tour today of my home office slash studio space. Let's get into it. Mi gente, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special guest, Architectural Digest. Just kidding, my wife is behind the camera here. But we're gonna try to do a little something different here and show you guys our home office slash studio space. So come on in. All right, so before we actually get into it, um, I basically wanted to go ahead and kind of just give you a little bit of context here. My wife and I moved into this home in 2018. About three years ago, we had my son and myself and my wife, and we have a four bed, three bath home. This actually was a spare bedroom. It actually used to be the guest room. And then my office used to be on the other side of the house. Since then, we've almost doubled. We have twin girls they arrived in, in March of 2020 so we've pr practically doubled in uh, stuff as well so this also serves as somewhat of a storage space for our home but for the most part I'm in here what feels like 24 7 right by the way before um, I continue I want to give a special shout out to DistroKid who I'll talk about in just a minute on this side you will go ahead and see my two guitars so before I moved to Tampa about seven years ago I actually sold my electric guitar and my acoustic guitar um, and have now replaced them. I used to have an Ibanez, the guitar that I started playing on, and I had an acoustic guitar, believe it or not, it was one of those 1-800 uh, guitars. It was an Esteban guitar, which came with like a case and everything like that. So um, I got an Ovation acoustic guitar and an Epiphone. I love these guitars. I put this one up here because I think it looks beautiful and I do get a chance to play it from time to time. Uh, now, if you move right along, I have an LED light strip around the closet. So again, this is a spare bedroom in our home. It does come equipped with a closet. There's a bunch of stuff in here so I'm not going to show you that mostly studio stuff but also some clothes and things like that so it serves its purpose now if you come along here so the light provides a nice little ambiance uh, which I use for my videos and whatnot but I set this corner up to really just inspire me so I have my record player and I used to have a whole collection of vinyls here uh, before we moved to this house that I ended up getting rid of. Um, so I restarted collecting vinyls. I have about seven or eight now. Said, I have Jay Dilla, John Legend, Notorious B.I.G. I got Lauryn Hill, Kanye West, and recently Nipsey Hussle, the marathon. So RIP to Nip, but I do get a chance to play some records from time to time. I got my plant to bring some life into the room. And then I have some frames here. Now, my wife is a doctor um, and I got my master's in business administration so we're very proud of our accomplishments our academic accomplishments and we definitely want to set, set the right precedents for our children so we showcase that here education is a must in our household for sure moving right along uh, I have my favorite shoes here I don't have all my shoes displayed but these are some of my favorite each one has a story again I want this room to be inspirational to me which is why I'm showcasing them here I have our set of goals and I actually had a friend of mine frame this I'm not as narcissistic as I look I had a friend of mine that frame this article that came out on our church magazine years ago. She framed it, she gifted it to me. Very kind of her, I kept it with me since, so I appreciate her for doing that. Now, again, the LED light strip, it lights up the room, it gives it that nice little ambiance so I can shoot from really any corner of the room as long as it's facing this way for the most part, the 180 angle, and I'll get the nice blues, I can change the hue, I can make it purple, green, whatever. I really like the blues and I like the pinks as well. Uh, but I have our book shelf here and this is a combination of books that my wife and I have basically been collecting from years of just studying and, and reading. Uh, we have textbooks, we have our own individual books and mostly, you know, books on um, financial literacy. We have one, uh, it's called All You Need to Know About the Music Business. Definitely recommend you guys picking that up if you're not already familiar with that book. And by the way, I'll link some of the my top five books uh, in the description below for you guys to, to read and to look at. Um, 12 Rules for Life, uh, I like having a structure in life, so I have a lot of the, those types of books. Zero to One by Peter Thiel, founder, co-founder of PayPal. I love reading about the founding of startups and companies, and my wife got me this starting a business quick start guy, so huge shout out to her again. I won't go through the whole list here, but uh, you know, we got branding, marketing books, we got uh, prayer books and whatnot, so moving along to the desk situation. Okay, this is the bread and butter, guys, and this is really where creativity comes alive. So I tried to make it as simple and as seamless as possible. Not a whole lot, as you can see here, although it does look a little bit cluttered, and I'll explain to you guys why in a minute. Um, I do have a sit-stand desk that I ended up getting from Wayfair. 
uh, reasonably priced. I wouldn't say it's the best quality, uh, but I certainly do appreciate having a sit-stand desk, especially because I do work from home, so I have a full-time job, which is why I have another laptop over there. I have a full-time job, and I end up sitting for more than about six to 10 hours every single day. So I need to have that flexibility of being able to sit and stand, otherwise my back hurts. Uh, and I'm only 29, which is crazy. So no studio tour is complete without mentioning our sponsors, DistroKid. Every studio should have access to a DistroKid account. DistroKid being a music distribution site that allows you to place your music on over 150 different digital music platforms. One of my favorite features of DistroKid is promo cards. Promo cards is a great alternative to having a graphic designer or yourself design a promotional card for your IG stories or even TikTok. You can use these promo cards to promote your latest project, your latest single. It's pretty much a plug and play situation where you put in the cover art for the single that you're looking to promote and DistroKid generates this image in the appropriate aspect ratio for stories or any other platform with a similar aspect ratio for that matter. So take advantage of this feature. It is included in your yearly DistroKid membership plan. And if you're not already signed up, make sure to take advantage of my discount link, distrokid.com forward slash VIP forward slash Nico Santana for a percentage off your yearly membership plan for your first year. Now, let me show you the rest of the studio. My, um, my monitors here, so let's start with that. These are the Yamaha HS5s. They're a little bit smaller, but they get the job done in a small space like this. And I forgot to mention, this is only like a 10 by 10 room. The fan actually comes down pretty low. I'm 5'10", 5'11 on a good day. Uh, uh, so the so the fan definitely you know hits or at least some of the chains there hit my head so in terms of music production and listening to audio you don't need huge speakers to actually fill the room so the hs5s have served me well i have them on monitor stands this is the perfect height for when i raise the desk the desk actually doesn't end up hitting the monitors i've had old faithful here my macbook pro uh it's a 13 inch since 2015. it's running out of space the memory is not that great so it's definitely slowing down with time um, but i have a couple hard, hard drives to support me and to give me that extra memory space. I have this wide screen LG monitor and I do have it on a boom arm monitor stand. Same thing with my microphone, which I'll get into in just a moment. I don't really need to raise it, but if I need to move it for whatever reason, it makes it simpler because it is standing on a monitor stand. I have all my audio equipment connected to this Apollo Twin. This is an interface that was actually a friend of mine's. So I bought it pre-owned. So most of the licenses on the actual Apollo plugins I haven't purchased. So uh, I'm not getting the best use out of it, but of course it, it is a great piece of equipment. I recommend it myself uh, and I got it for an amazing price. Moving on to the microphone. So I do have the microphone connected to the Apollo Twin as the HS5s. The microphone that I'm working on is a, a Neumann TLM 102. It is caged in or housed in this Chaotica eyeball, which is supposed to provide soundproofing, basically diminish or completely eliminate in some cases any reverberation from the room. I've noticed quite a bit of difference here, but of course it would be better if I had some sort of sound treatment in the room, which by the way, I did end up ordering two acoustic sound panels, which are on their way. So of course I'm still updating the, the, the studio as I go on, but um, at any rate, I have the MacBook Pro or the MacBook uh, wireless keyboard and I have the MacBook wireless mouse as well. I have a Logitech keyboard and mouse as well for my work computer. I have the Akai MPK Mini. I don't really use this as often as I should, uh, mostly because I haven't really been producing music as often. I do have these DT990 Pros. There is a little bit of a leakage on the audio because they're supposed to be utilized mostly for mixing and mastering. So they're not covered headphones. Um, so you do get a little bit of leakage. So if you're recording something, I wouldn't recommend them, but um, I like the feel of them and certainly helps that the cord is not, you know, it's, it's, it's like this little scrunchy thing. So, um, you know, that helps. So with that, I wanted to show you guys my NTS Media Neon logo man i love this thing this thing just just gives me that inspiration to know that i have my own company and working hard is enough of an inspiration but having something tangible to show you hey man you are a business owner i run a digital media and marketing business that supports other small businesses whether artists dental offices you name it practically have covered a lot of industries here so between my day job between my small business and between music i'm definitely busy not to mention my three kids it's uh, it's a crazy time in the house so i definitely want to try to keep everything as organized in here as possible.
possible. I think I talked about all the audio equipment. Now I'm moving on to the video equipment. So this is kind of the cool part and, and there might be some shadows on my face because of the ring light, but um, highlighting the ring light. I got it from Amazon. Again, all my equipment is linked in the description below from Amazon. As you can see, it's very bright. It's helpful whenever I have a Zoom call or some sort of Zoom interview or whatever it is that I'm doing on a computer because there's only one window here. Having that extra light definitely helps balance out the, the shadows on the face and, and makes it a little bit brighter in here. I don't like to turn this light on. It just looks awkward whenever I'm on camera or on the laptop camera. So I like to turn that one on. Um, I do have a nightstand for all my gear. Um, not all of it, but some of it. We ended up having to order a sofa bed, which still has not come. It's been more than six months almost. It's supposed to be, you know, kind of like a situation where we have a spare bedroom slash if anybody wants to come in, kick it in the studio, they can come sit here, but we haven't had it yet, delivered rather. So we have the nightstand there to kind of provide that uh, room-esque vibe, but again, I use it mostly for storage and I have my modem and other items on there. Um, so the camera that I'm working on, and by the way, I'm actually recording this video on my iPhone 11. Shouts out to Apple. And, by, and, and for the record, even though I'm talking about all this equipment, you really don't need that much to get started. So don't, you know, don't feel like you need to get all this stuff to get started. I'm working on a GH5. Uh, it's a Lumix, it's a Panasonic brand. Hooked to it, I have a couple things. Number one is the lens. I recently got this lens. It's a Sigma 16 millimeter uh, f1.4, which is great for a small space like this because it provides that wide angle. And um, attached to it, I have a prism lens effects. They are not sponsoring this video, uh, but prism lens effects. I got this dream filter, which is supposed to kind of soften the, the, the edges and soften the, 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 the light and whatnot, give it more of a film style look. Uh, so far, I like it. I do have this newer uh, monitor. It's an external monitor. Before, what I used to do is I would flip the little monitor that comes with the camera, but oftentimes I would find myself not being in focus and you can't really tell on a small monitor like that. So having that big external monitor facing you can help you kind of figure out what is uh, in focus and what's not. This table actually moves around so I have it on wheels so I can move it you know, from place to place and I can have different angles. On top of it, I have my Shure SM7B and this microphone is connected straight to my camera using this adapter called the Comica AD2. Uh, shout out to my boy Steve Aguino for letting me know about that because I can hook it up straight to the camera even though it's got an XLR. This converter allows me to hook it up straight to the GH5 and it looking more like a podcast. Um, and last but not least, I do have this light. It's a Godox SL. 60W, uh, it has a soft box and it has this waffle filter. And what the waffle filter does, if you're not familiar with lighting or video equipment, is it basically prevents any leakage. So the ring light is illuminating the entire room. This would basically just focus it in a central focal point. So that way, in case of event, I want the blue lights in the background and the pink lights and whatnot. It's not taking too much away from that and I can still have that without, again, diminishing that. So yeah, guys, that pretty much sums it up. I really don't have a ton of equipment, but what I do, I try to utilize to the fullest extent. And it's been like that for me since the beginning. I've started from literally just a little point and shoot camera, even shooting videos on my iPhone to now working with a little bit more of a budget and being a little bit more professional. But I wanna know what you guys think. Uh, is there something that you think I'm missing as far as my setup goes? I do have a long list of things that I certainly could want and use and whatnot, but um, I wanna know what you guys think. Uh, and lastly, make sure to check out some of the uh, items here in the description below. Uh, huge shout out to our sponsors, DistroKid, for allowing me to make videos like this. And uh, yeah, if you uh, enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe, like, share it with a friend, follow me on Instagram, at nicosantana.co. So it was great kicking it with you guys, but I gotta record some music, so you guys gotta get out. Peace.